So this is, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a Pyrex brand. It's a glassware and it's, I think, Hillshire, Hillshire Company. Yeah, Hillshire Company. Mm -hmm. Made in USA. This is made in the USA. Model it's 8LW. A model 8LW. So it's an 8 cup vacuum coffee maker. It's an 8 cup vacuum coffee maker. And it is, we're cooking it on the stove top, so it's on the, um, it's uh, turning on right now. Heating up. It's yeah. heating up. So basically, it's, um, we're waiting for the water to boil. And then we are grinding some coffee over here with the coffee grinder, a small one. Um, so we're gonna grind the coffee and then we're gonna start making some coffee. Similar to the previous video, if you watch that one. <laughs> so the other video, the uh, coffee maker, uh, that is an older one. This is 1950. So this is 20 years younger and this is plastic instead of metal. Oh, it's, no, it's the same. That's Bakelite. Bakelite? The Bakelite. It's, it's very similar. Only the the main difference is the mouth is a lot wider. So this is an easier one to clean. And uh, the gasket is easier to find. So these guys over here. So these guys with age go bad. This is actually an original one. The original uh, vacuum seal. So after some amount of use, it's going to get hard or start cracking and it'll be useless. But there were lots of these coffee makers made. So it's just easier to find parts for. It's easier to clean. They got the, you know, they're developing the design. They have it right in the 50s. So it's a, it's a good coffee maker and I use it more often. Okay, now we have our water boiling. The boiling's pretty nice on the stove. So these ones, the stove heats it up evenly where this particular type of stove's infrared. So that way I don't have to worry about the, uh, about the bottom uh, carl cracking. So now I've already pre-ground some coffee, put it at the top, like so. Well, hello there. Turn it down a little bit, so it's going to bubble a lot. Alrighty. You can see over here, Pyrex brand glassware made in the USA for the Silex company. Yeah, I always like to stir it up a little bit. Get every last drop of goodness out of these grinds. Here we are. Okay. Let it boil for a little while, and then we'll let it vacuum. Okay, boiling is done. Right aside. begins.
Sucks out the water. Oh, there we are. You are all done. Blub, blub, blub. Okay. Now I don't have anything to hold this with, but. Decided to pop off the top, play the side. I don't have all the fancy accessories for this guy. It's just meant to be a daily user. So, this works great. Might as use a yogurt container with uh, some padding in the bottom to collect the droppings. Let it cool off. So they can clean it out later. And look at that. Nice, rich cup of coffee. And that's what we're hoping for. Way to start of the day, huh? All right, that's our coffee maker. Bye-bye.